Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Now today's video is going to be a bit different than my normal videos because today we're going to be looking at what I think are some of the best names in Destiny 2. So up first we have a very cultured individual, PP Small. Now this name is short, sweet, and to the point. Kind of like my own d It's funny, it'll get a good chuckle out of whoever sees it, so I'm gonna give this a solid 7.5 out of 10. Next up we have Eris Morn's Eye Tape. It is a very niche reference to a Destiny character, you know, it catches you off guard, but there's not too much going on with this one. Good alliteration with the E's and Eris and I, but besides that, I mean, there's just not a lot going on here. So I'm gonna give the, I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10. I feel like this is an average name. And I would like to note, I don't appreciate this Mr. Fruit guy kind of just barging his way into the photo. I don't know, seems kind of rude to me. But anyways, I guess I'll forgive him this time. Next up, we have Corn Flakes, Kel of Ogs. This has just blown the competition out of the water. First off, Flakes. That sounds like an actual fallen name. You did a great job there. And while the word Ogs might not make sense by itself, you put Kel in front of it, Kellogg's Corn Flakes. This is just a fantastic name, and honestly, I'm gonna have to give this a 10 out of 10. That's right, the first one. Honorable mention to Coochie Sauce in the background. I, I'm not gonna lie, I just noticed that and it made me laugh. You get a 6 out of 10. Next up we have Patang Zumboing, which if you are a fan of Monty Python and the Quest for the Holy Grail, you will know exactly what this is referencing. I love that movie, so I'm gonna give it a solid 7 out of 10. Now this right here, I don't know what I want to rate this. Because on the one hand, it's kind of funny. But on the other hand, if this video by some miracle actually does well, I don't want this becoming a norm. I, I feel like this is something we should keep under wraps. But it got a chuckle out of me, so I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. And then we have this Titan, who, you know, he's, he's just thinking. The ellipses at the end of it really does it for me, but besides that, there's not much going on here. So I'm gonna have to give this one a 3.5 out of 10. I just, I feel like it doesn't bring enough to the table, if you know what I mean. Now, there's just so much going on in this image. First off, you've got Darkness, your old friend. Which is a fantastic reference to the song, which, you know, it's, it, it, it says those words. But then if you check to the right, we got Crayon Muncher, which, I mean, obviously is just Titans incarnate. And then to the left, we got Eris Morn's used larvae. It's just kind of gross. There's just so much talent in this photo. And from left to right, I'm gonna have to go six, nine, and, uh, let's do... Let's do a five. I feel like that's a basic name. All right, next up we got Lil Uzi Squirt. I don't really think I have to explain myself for this one. Six. <laughs> and don't forget about $2.49 16 ounce monster energy. The fact that you not only put the fluid ounce, but the amount it costs as well, like that, that's, that's some pretty high standards. And for that, I'm gonna have to give you an 8.5. That is, that is a solid name. Up next, Zer's Lean Dealer. Now, I've been trying to get my buddy Zer off of that purple drink, so I don't appreciate this guy. However, it is a pretty damn funny name. Zer be getting them strange coins, but he be giving them that strange drink, you know what I mean? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, that was a stupid joke. Anyways, uh, 7 out of 10. And then we have Cade's Sticky Sock. I, I don't think I need to explain much here. That's a 10 out of 10. Absolutely hilarious. Followed by, Do I make you randy, baby? Austin Powers reference, love Austin Powers, that's gonna be a solid 8 out of 10 for me. Next up, Jake from State Farm. I mean, this is just, you know, classic commercial, solid name, but not too much special going on, not too much creativity. So this one's gonna get a 6.5 for me, maybe a light 7, I don't know, I'm still, I'm kinda back and forth on this one. Now this one, I'm, I'm quite honestly scared of whoever made this name. Because I, I just know that that first part of the name is 100% in their search history. That, that's a, that's a, that's a 1 out of 10. I, I, I feel uncomfortable looking at that. Speaking of things I feel uncomfortable looking at, my god. It somehow manages to be worse than the last one. I, I, once again, you know this is in this person's search history. You don't just come up with this. They just typed in Rule 34 Destiny 2 and, and they were like, oh, I like that. But yeah, this one is a 0 out of 10. I, I feel like I'm looking at something illegal. Taking a bit more of a wholesome turn from the last two names, we have Paul Blart, Kel of Malls. Another great reference, solid use of the whole, like, you know, Kel theme. This is gonna be a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me. Next, we have 
Kum Connoisseur. And as much as I hate to say it, I I love this name. The alliteration is nice. The fact that it's Kum and not, uh, you know, the synonym for arrive makes it a whole lot better for me. This might be a hot take. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. I think this is hilarious. Next up, we have a pimp named Simpback. It's it's a good name. I like the reference. I just I wish you went all the way through with it I get the play on words. You're trying to say like simp, you know, like pimp simp. It does rhyme But it's just it's not as good as what it could have been So that's gonna bring it down to a four out of ten for me I'm sorry, bud, but you know what we can learn from this and we can grow from this now This is a name from back in the day when stasis was absolutely busted and because of the time that we lived in as destiny players I absolutely love this name. I think it's a 9 out of 10. I'm gonna add this name right here in because when I saw that he entered the patrol zone, it said like, an unstoppable cursed thrall is near, and I about shit myself because I thought like an actual thrall champion had spawned in. So just for the scare factor alone, that's gonna put it at a 7 out of 10. Because I think the concept is funny of a, you know, just like an unstoppable champion cursed thrall, I'm gonna put it at a 7.5? We'll put it we'll put it at a heavy 7.5 maybe a light 8. I don't know once again. I Don't like this at all. It's kind of funny, but just that image in my head is ugh, Three out of ten next we have ten dollars Which I, I think it's like kind of a dry humor funny, but the fact that he was level 10 when I found him that gives like an extra point so I'm gonna say 6.5 out of 10 once again, I I just don't like this. Hey, uh, don't tell anyone, but I mean, that's kind of <laughs> sheesh, you know what I mean? So like a uh, 10 out of 10, <laughs> Mara text me, baby. And last but not least, I'm going to show you what I think the just best name I've ever seen in Destiny is. Taxes, Kel of the IRS. I mean, this, this just reeks creativity and just, it's, it's hilarious to me. First off, you got the Fallen theme, that's great. Taxes, actually, like, that's the most Fallen sounding name I've heard yet out of any name I've seen. And just Kill the Ira, I just think it's so funny. This is a 10 out of 10 for sure. And you know what? I'm gonna break the scale. This is an 11 out of 10 for me. There's not much that's gonna ever top this, in my opinion. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed this new style of video, please let me know in the comments. Let me know what some of the best names that you found in Destiny are. And, you know, like, share, uh, subscribe, especially subscribe. Do it now, the big red button down there. Yep, you can it, it, just go ahead and click that. I'll wait. All right, thank you. But yeah, uh... I hope to be able to make another one of these soon because this has just been a fun little like mini game in Destiny for me. I hope each and every one of you has a fantastic day and I shall see you in the next video. Farewell. <laughs>